Hey guys. So we're gonna continue our theme talking about the summer. Can you tell me something about the summer? What makes the summer different from, oh, I don't know, the winter? What's it like outside? What do we see? Well, it's very warm outside most days. Um, the trees are super, super green. The flowers are really, really beautiful. And all of these things happen because of one thing. Do you know what makes everything so hot and makes the flowers and the trees come back to life? Do you know what it is? It's the sun. So what I have is a book all about the sun. So we're gonna talk about not the little yellow sun that we draw on our pictures. We're gonna talk about the real sun all the way up in the sky and how it does what it does and a lot of different things about it. So one thing about the sun is it is super, super hot. And we're gonna learn all about it. So this is a picture of the sun. It's not really yellow like we think, it's like more orangey. So let's learn all about the sun. <clears throat> so this is called the table of contents. If you wanna to go to a specific part of the book, this tells you what page to go to. It says, what is the sun? About the sun, the size and the temperature and the history and fun facts. And those are the pages that we can find that information on. So what is the sun? This is the sun. The sun is a star. Did you know the sun was a star? Just like all the little white lights that you see in the sky, the sun is just like one of those. It's just a lot closer. The sun is 4.6 billion years old. And the sun is the center of our solar system. Look guys, these are all the planets going around the sun. There's the sun and those little lines, that's all the planets going around it. The sun is a star, just like all the stars you see at night in the sky. The sun looks different because it's so, so, so much closer. It's the closest star to Earth. The sun is 93 million miles away from the Earth. Look, there's the Earth. And you see how one side is lit and the other side is dark? That's because the sun is on this side. The other side is in shadow. The sun does not have a solid surface. It doesn't have ground for you to stand on. This means you would not be able to stand on the sun. Also, it'd be super hot. Do you think you could stand there? How big is the sun? The sun's average circumference all the way around is 2,715,395 miles long. The state of Texas is only 773 miles wide. It would take 3,512 Texases to go all the way around the earth. How hot is the sun? How hot do you think the sun is? Do you think it's hot like the oven? Do you think it's hot like a fire? Let's see. Do you think it's like, I don't know, 100 degrees? Is that hot? Do you think it's like, I don't know, 200 degrees? That sounds pretty hot. The, the sun's average temperature 
is 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This is like 170 times hotter than the Earth. That's pretty hot. Does that look hot? Until the 16th century, people thought the sun and the other planets orbited around the Earth. But now this guy right here, Nicholas Copernicus, this guy, he became the first person to publish a model of the solar system with the sun in the middle. So this guy figured out that we go around the sun. The sun is what heats up our planet. If the sun were to stop shining, the oceans would freeze. It would get super cold, guys. There are some places on the Earth, like the North and the South Pole, that don't see the sun for days or even for months. The sun is so, so, so hot that it can burn your skin if you stay outside for too long. What can we do so we don't get burned by the sun if we go outside? What do we have to put on? We have to put on sunscreen. And you can wear a hat, but definitely, definitely put on sunscreen so you don't get a sunburn. You ever got a sunburn? They hurt. One time I got a sunburn, I turned the same color as my shirt. Go outside and look at the stars and what do you see? I really like to go see the stars. The stars are so pretty. Um, a lot of times where we live, like um, in the suburbs or in the city, the city lights are too bright and you don't get to see so many stars. But if you can go out to the country, you can see millions and millions and millions of stars up in the sky and it's so pretty. So I hope you guys like our story about the sun. And now we're gonna go on to our activity. We're gonna talk about different things that we do during the summertime. And what makes the summer so hot? The sun. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Bye.